Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, uh, Road to the Philippines. Um, before I, you know, start my video, I like to uh, give a couple of shout outs. Um, first shout out um, is to Calvin, um, who has a YouTube channel um, called Sunshine Shoulders. Um, I'm giving you a shout out because you gave me a shout out on your channel, on your live stream the other day, and I, I truly appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> every little bit, you know, every little bit of exposure helps my channel, grows a little bit more, and I, I, I truly thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> you know, hopefully in the near, near future, uh, you know, maybe we can do a, uh, maybe you can interview me on a live stream, that would be cool. Um, just um, let me know if, you, if that's something interesting, uh, I'd be cool with that. And uh, second person I want to give a, a huge shout out to uh, is Mark uh, from Every Man Has a Story. Mark, I I, I uh, greatly appreciate um, everything you did. Um, <clears throat> uh, for those of you uh, who uh, are new to the channel, um, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I have a, quite a few more subscribers than I did uh, just two days ago. Um, a couple of days ago, like I said, uh, Mark invited me on his channel for a live stream. And uh, we had a, a lengthy discussion. Um, the main topic for, his, uh, for the interview was um, building a house over in the Philippines from my girlfriend, Irene. Uh, whew. Oh, man. <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> I had to really, um, I had to really gather my thoughts before, um, making this video today. Uh, this morning, I mean, I, w I was flaming. I was extremely uh yeah for um lack of a better term uh i was pissed <laughs> highly pissed um not at you mark um or any of my subscribers no but um instead towards um a lot of mark's viewers you know um god i i I, I I don't I don't even know where to begin. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, I have a pretty thick skin. You know, um, I could take a lot of criticism. You know, constructive criticism. But um, uh, a lot of the comments by your viewers, Mark, were just, I mean, they were cruel, man. <laughs> For you know, downright cruel. I mean. Uh, I know there's a lot of, you know, trolls out there that they have nothing else better to do than to go on somebody's channel and, you know, say rude comments to people, you know, you know, and I've seen that happen on, you know, many of the guys that I watch on YouTube, you know, they'll be doing live streams and you'll see uh, the trolls come out and make rude, just rude ass comments, man. I mean, I, I don't get it, but um, they're, they're everywhere, unfortunately. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I get it, you know, I understand where they're coming from, a lot of them, but uh, yeah, I was, I was pissed, you know, this morning, you know, because uh, I have, I didn't really, I, I didn't really read the comments, you know, on Mark's video until today, and there was like 195 of them, <laughs> and the, I mean, there was some, there were some people on there that they had positive comments, and and to you that they gave me words of encouragement. Hey, I, I appreciate it. You know, I hope you subscribe to my channel because. Uh, you know, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep all of you updated on what's going on, you know. Um, but 
yeah, I just couldn't believe some of the comments that were made. I mean, I expected it, you know. I mean, I knew, I knew that from, you know, the title of Mark's, you know, interview about Danny, you know, buying a house for his girlfriend in the Philippines, I knew that was going to draw in a lot of attention. And, uh, and it did, it, people were coming from all parts of the world, I'm sure to, you know, put in their two cents worth, but, um, uh, yeah, like I said, I have a pretty, pretty thick skin, you know, I mean, I, I work in a psychiatric hospital. I work in two psychi psychiatric hospitals. <laughs> you know, I've been told everything you can, you can imagine, you know, you know, and I, it just rolls off my back, you know. Uh, shoot, I've been I've been kicked, bit, punched, had my my ribs dislocated, you know. But I, you know, I stand back up and I keep moving forward. So, you know, I've been called everything under the sun. I've been threatened. I've had my life threatened at work. You know, whatever, man. I, you know, uh, comments from you know Mark's viewers, man. So be it, man, you know. Trolls are gonna, are gonna be trolls. And I understand why someone made those comments. You know. <clears throat> uh, you know, and I just want it, want it to be known that, you know, um, it was Irene and I's mutual agreement to build a house over there, you know. It wasn't just her idea, it was both our idea, you know. And I didn't really convey that you know, when I was talking to Mark, um, and she put money into the house as well. It wasn't just my money going into, you know, to having it built. Her money went into it as well. I mean, she, you know, she, uh, raises pigs over there and she sold, you know, she had to sell quite a few of her pigs, you know, to help, you know, you know help out with, uh, completing the project, you know, um, she had, you know, some of her, you know, her sisters would, would, would loan her money, you know, to help build the house, you know. So, um, it wasn't just a one-way street, you know. She was helping me, you know, along the way. <clears throat> you know, and, and uh, she put a lot of effort in having that house built. I mean, she, she did the, all the hiring process. Um, she hired the crew to build this house completely on her own. Um, <clears throat> she um, went out and bought all the materials for the house. You know, the, the foreman that was overseeing the project, you know, he would give her a list of items, you know, to go to the hardware stores and buy, and, and she would go and she would search for the cheapest um, materials. You know, she wouldn't go to just one store and be like, okay, yeah, I'll take that for that price. You know, if she went somewhere and, and uh, she felt like they were overcharging her, she'd go somewhere else. You know, she was trying to save us money. You know, but, uh, you know, a lot of the viewers, you know, they look at it, they look at the whole situation as, oh, she's just a gold digger. No, she's not. Not even close. She has not one time ever just come out of the blue and asked me for money for anything. If she needed money for something, it was for, for building our house. Um, it was for our business, um, for the annulment. Not once did she ever come and say, hey, Danny, you know, um, I have a sick relative, you know, can you uh, send me X amount of dollars uh, to help with medical expenses or or whatever, no, no, she she never did that. You know, and, and the the, you know, and another thing, uh, as far as her being married, you know, yeah, she's technically married. Um, <clears throat> you know, and and she was separated, um, from her husband, two or three years before she met me online. You know, for. For those of you unaware, you know, it, it's expensive. It costs a lot of money to file an annulment in the Philippines. And it can take years for it to go through the courts. 
<clears throat> you know, and I was doing a lot of research, you know, you know, checking out the prices and, you know, how much it was going to cost. There was, there were some sites that I read where, you know, it could cost six, seven, eight, up to $9,000 to go to a file for an annulment from beginning to end. Because sometimes you go through the courts and the courts won't approve it and it's got to be re-entered or appealed or whatever they do. And uh, it, cost, it can cost thousands upon thousands of dollars. And I was, you know, I was aware of that. <clears throat> and I do it all over again in a heartbeat. Um, you know, it was gonna, you know, I've spent like $3,000, $3,500 you know, and it takes a long time. You know, I, I filed for the annulment uh, in January of last year. A few months after I got back um, from meeting her in person. Um, <clears throat> you know, and, and the reason why there's so many, you know, women over there that, that are still technically married. How can, you know, how do you expect any of them to come up with that? that lump sum amount of money. I mean, the average, you know, the average Filipino or Filipina makes like four or five, six thousand dollars a year. <laughs> so you'd be asking somebody to give up more than half of their salary to file for an annulment. I mean, could any of you imagine you know, forking out half of your salary, you know, to get divorced over here in the in the United States? No, you'd be like, hell no, I, no, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money. <clears throat> They're the same way. They don't have the money. They don't have the resources. You know, they can't afford to hire an attorney to file an annulment. That's why there's so many women over there that are that are that are separated from their spouses and. They're, they're, they're still legally married, you know? <clears throat> and I was aware of that from the very beginning, you know? She hid nothing from me, nothing. I knew she was married. You know, I met her on a dating website called International Cupid. And on her profile, she put that she was separated she didn't hide anything from me. She was up front and forward and, and she was telling me the truth. She told me that, and on her profile, says she had three kids. I knew that, you know? <clears throat> and people just, you know, they think that I'm just completely blind to the situation. I, I've seen, I've seen and I've read about the horror stories over there. <clears throat> and I can sit here and say, you know, she's not like those other girls. And, you know, and people will comment and say, oh, that's, you know, that's a typical cliche. You know, that's what, that's what those other guys thought too. You know, they build a house for their, their Filipina and, you know, they got screwed over or whatever. You know, uh, yeah, I've read, I've seen, I've seen the comments. I've read the comments. I've seen the videos of that happening, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, um, you know, that was, that was, um, that was the risk that I was willing to take, you know, I mean, I love this woman. I, I love her with all my heart and I would do it all over again. You know, people are saying, oh, well, you've only seen her three weeks in person. You know, how can you do this? Only m meeting her for three weeks face to face. <clears throat> I've known her for almost two years, you know, and people will say, well, okay, so whatever, you know, I mean, you, you guys don't think that, um, there's women over here in the United States that will screw you over, uh, just like people over in the Philippines, uh, think again though, <laughs> you know, this is a dog eat dog world, you know, and, uh, yeah, it is, it's amazing the comments, you know, what people are the comments that people are making, you know. Uh, one guy was calling me a simp. <laughs> a simp. Okay, you know, whatever. 
Another guy was saying, you know, love is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll agree to that. Yeah, love is crazy. You do crazy things when you're in love. But she loves me too, you know, and uh, I guess we'll be crazy together, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Another person wrote, he's giving that all his money. No, I'm not. Why would I do that? Why would I give out all my money? That's that's ridiculous, you know. Um, one person said he, he's treading on deep water. Treading on deep water. The only person that I know is who's tread on deep water is uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, I've never heard of anybody treading on deep water. Um... Another commented, oh, he's only known her for three weeks. Okay. <laughs> Some people, you know, meet in person and, and it's love at first sight and they go out and get married. You know, I mean, like I said, I've known her for three or for two years, you know. Um, <clears throat> another, another guy commented, he's never going to retire. <laughs> never going to retire. <laughs> what the hell are you smoking, dude? I mean, just because you're not going to retire doesn't mean that I'm not going to retire. I plan to retire in the Philippines. Yeah. In as early as two years. That That's that's the, the earliest that I can retire. You know, I had mentioned it once before. Um, and... You know, er, my, some of my earlier videos, I said that, uh, you know, as soon as my daughter graduates from high school, um, depending on what she does, you know, I could be retiring that early. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, if she decides to go to college or whatever, I'm all for it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll stay here. And uh, I'll help support her and her brother who just graduated uh, this month. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm there for my kids. If they want to go to college, I'm do it, guys. You know, if you want to join the military like I did when I graduated from high school, I support you 100. percent You know, both my kids have talked about joining the military, <clears throat> and you know, I support it all the way. You know, the military is a great thing. You know, there's a lot of benefits to joining the military. You know, benefits that I'm enjoying today. You know, and that I'll, that I'll enjoy years till the end of my life. Um, you know, my daughter talked about moving, moving to Texas. She mentioned moving out to, the, to Nevada. To Arizona, you know, my mother lives in Arizona and my uncle, you know, I support anything that my kids want to do. <clears throat> if they want to go to college, great. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm paying child support. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned it on Mark's channel, you know, I'm, I'm paying $1,200 a month. And if I had, you know, if I, I had to pay that for the next, you know, five or six years, uh, when my kids, before, you know, when my kids are going through college, I mean, I'll do it, you know, because I'm their dad, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help them in any way I can. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, you know, two years. That's the earliest that I can retire. Um, and there's other opportunities for me. Um. I had mentioned telemedicine. You know, I could, I could, you know, work. Uh, I could work over in the Philippines. You know, as long as I have a good internet connection, I could do to some kind, some type of telemedicine over there. So technically, you know, I don't even have to wait two years. But simply because that's something that I haven't, you know, dealt with. You know, I'm not that comfortable. You know, starting something new. Um, I've been working mental health for the last 10 years, over 10 years. I'm gonna keep doing that, why? Because that's what I'm comfortable doing, that's what I enjoy doing. Um, I love my job, I love what I do. You know, even even considering all that uh, has happened while working. 
being, like I said, being bit, punched, uh, got my ribs dislocated. I, that's all part of the job. You know, it's the risk you take, you know, working in a mental health facility. But I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I work with some of the most amazing co-workers I could ever imagine working for. <clears throat> and the places I work, they're amazing. They're amazing people. And I, I just, I can't imagine doing anything else. You know, it's, it's the last place that I plan to work before retiring. <clears throat> um, another person mentioned, uh, she'll keep Danny around till there's no more money. Well, that's good. Because that means that she'll keep me around forever because I'm not gonna run out of money. So I don't know if that person was trying to, you know, insult me or scare me or or what that was all about. I, yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna run out of money because, you know, I've learned how to invest my money. You know, I have investments, numerous investments that are gonna pay me huge dividends till the day I die. So I take that as, uh, that's a positive statement to me. <laughs> she'll keep Danny around till there's no more money. That's awesome. That means she'll be around forever. That's a, perfect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> another person commented, uh, annulments are very difficult to obtain in the Philippines and very costly. Well, we just talked about that. And that's a true statement. You know, very difficult to obtain. I've done my research, my dual diligence. You know, I've done a lot of research, but thank you for your input. Uh, another person said that he doesn't have a clue. Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Uh, Danny is lonely and not thinking clearly. <laughs> uh, lonely? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, it sucks, you know, being stuck over here, you know. I live in this um, apartment by myself, you know. Um, three years ago, or three and a half years ago, I went from, you know, a family of four and two cats to living by myself, you know. <clears throat> uh, that was a difficult transition. That was difficult. It's a transition that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. You know, um, like I said before, I, I've been married and divorced twice. <clears throat> you know, my first relationship lasted five years. Um, we didn't have any kids, so that was a blessing, you know. Um, I was able to sever that relationship, well, and I didn't have to pay any alimony or nothing. Uh, that, that relationship ended, no problems. Uh, the second relationship, that was 20 years. That was 20 years of my life. Um, that, was, that was a rough 20 years. That was a lot of ups and downs. A lot of highs, a lot of lows. <clears throat> um, we, I mean, like I said, you know, our, our relationship ended in February. It was February 23rd, uh, February 23rd, 2018 is when it ended permanently. Um, technically we had divorced six years prior to that, you know, it was one of those deals where, you know, uh, got divorced back in 2012, you know, thought we made a, a mistake and, uh, we, we got back together about a year later and, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't regret doing that, you know, was it a mistake? I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but you know, when you have kids, you know, you, you, sometimes you sacrifice, uh, your own happiness for others. You know, <clears throat> I didn't like, I didn't like our family split up, you know, but, um, yeah, I thought we made a mistake and yeah, we got back together in 20, uh, 2013 and, uh, you know, again, it was ups and downs, you know, just like any other relationship. Uh, we ended up buying a house together. You know, um, a house that she currently lives in and my kids. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, when we split in 2018, uh, you know, 
I decided, you know, to move out myself. You know, she gave me a choice. She's like, you know, either me and the kids are moving out or you're moving out. And it was the hardest decision I ever had to make in my life, you know. You know, it's one thing to... Um, it's one thing to leave on your own terms, but it's another to, um, to, I'm not gonna say being forced out because she didn't force me out, but she gave me a choice that, you know, I had to move because I wasn't going to uproot my kids, you know, because I knew that she would take them to another town that was at least an hour away from me. And I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't, I wanted my kids, you know, to be able to stay in the same school system that they are. So I sacrificed myself and uh, I packed up my stuff that night and uh, uh, I lived in a hotel uh, for a couple of weeks before I got the place that I'm at now, you know, and I was miserable, you know, I've never been so miserable in my life, you know. Um, it, it was the worst month, two months I've ever, ever experienced ever, you know, <clears throat> I fell into a deep depression and, uh, yeah, I had a lot of, a lot of bad thoughts going through my head, you know, and by the grace of God, he came to my rescue. That's what, that's all I can say. He came to my rescue and he rescued me. And I owe everything to God. And I owe everything to God for, for putting Irene in my life. You know, she gave me a uh, purpose in life again. She gave me meaning. Um, she's showed me love like, like no other person has ever showed me. She's an amazing person loving person and it is it kills me that i can't get to her right now because uh a lot of you know you know her mother passed away the day before mother's day and it hurts that i wasn't able to be there to be with her during that time and she's taking it pretty hard and um <clears throat> And, you know, as far as those comments um, on Mark's channel, you know, she's read all those comments and she's hurt, you know, and it hurts me that she's hurt. You know, I have pretty thick skin, like I said, you know, words roll off my back. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. It, you know, it, it does get under my skin sometimes. Um, <clears throat> but it is what it is, you know. Uh, let me read some more of these comments here. Um, uh, let's see. Some, one guy wrote, um, he's like, hey, Mark, think about reaching out to Danny and to give him some guidance. Give me some guidance for what? Like, well, you, like a tour guide? What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't need someone to hold my hand, you know. Um, another guy wrote, Oh, he broke almost every rule in the unofficial Dating a Filipina handbook. <clears throat> I didn't know that handbook existed. Dating a Filipina. I mean, is that is there really a book out there like that? I mean, if there is, you know, you know, send it to me. I love to read it. You know, um, I, I need a good laugh. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, another person wrote. Um, uh, obviously there are many red flags with the kind of, with the, this kind of relationship. You know, I, I can agree. I can, I can agree with that statement, you know, but you don't know Irene the way that I know Irene, you know, you've just seen, you know, various YouTube videos, um, where relationship, relationships like the one that I have, have, have turned sour, you know, have ended tragically, or the guy's lost everything, you know. I've seen the same videos, man, you know. I, like I said, I, I've, I've done my research, you know. 
And I'm sorry, but I fell in love with her. And I'm still in love with her. And I will always be in love with her. So, <clears throat> it is what it is, you know? <laughs> Uh, another another guy wrote, uh, let's see, poor simp, no brain. <laughs> uh, another, go another guy wrote, this one's kind of funny. He said, he wrote, stupid does as stupid is. First of all, if you're going to quote something from Forrest Gump, get it right. Stupid is as stupid does. Stupid is as stupid as does. Stupid is as stupid does. That's the actual quote from Forrest Gump. <laughs> I thought that was kind of humorous. And then he wrote, don't get offended, but you suck. Straight up. And he later wrote, uh, never give but rice to the ones that show you love. I mean... What kind of rice are we talking about? Are we talking about white rice, uh, fried rice, dirty rice? I, I love dirty rice. I mean, you got to be more specific because there's all different types of rice out there. You know, I you need to, you know, be a little bit more specific. OK. Um, another guy wrote, put some crazy glue on your wallet. Uh, I prefer Gorilla Glue. Uh, crazy Glue, that's kind of, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's a different kind of glue. And I, I really think Gorilla Glue probably works much better. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, even though um, there was a lot of negative comments, I mean, there was a lot of people uh, that made positive comments on Mark's channel. And I, I truly appreciate that. Um, you know, a lot of guys were like, you know, you know, hang in there, you know, wouldn't they wish me the best of luck, you know. They're like, hey, don't be, you know, don't be so hard on him, you know. Just a lot of words of encouragement, and I, I really appreciate that. Um, one go by the screen name, and one of the guys was, uh, he went by Shawshank Redemption. Dude, thank you. You had a lot of kind words, and I, really, I truly appreciate that. Uh, another guy was Simon Collier. Thank you. Um, let me see here. Uh, uh, another guy was Doc. Went by Doc Whit Whitrow. Um, he was super cool in his comments. Another one was uh, went by Shasta. Um, another one that had, uh, really nice comments was, uh, Jim Pendergast. Uh, another one was Christopher Allen. Uh, Michael T. Um, that was another one. <clears throat> uh, another guy I thought was, you know, made, uh, kind of made a humorous remark, uh, was called Gentleman of Leisure. Um, I kind of had to laugh at his comment. <laughs> He said, uh, hey, continue, and this was towards, you know, all the trolls out there. He was saying, you know, to these guys, he was saying, continue courting the wells at your local Walmart. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And then he went on to say, uh, hey, 25000 on a house in the Philippines is a lot cheaper than spending 500000 on a house in the States for your Becky. <laughs> I, yeah, that was hilarious. I had to chuckle at that. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just, um, you know, to each is their own, man. You know, uh, I, like I said, I'm not sending all my money out there. I still have plenty of money. I have retirements retirement accounts that I contribute every couple of weeks that's going to last me till the day I die you know for all you haters out there um <clears throat> yeah I mean I get it you know yeah I've, I've sent her a lot of money they were shocked at the amount of money that I've sent to her and uh 
yeah, there's a lot of you guys out there that work paycheck to paycheck. I was one of those guys, you know? I mean, there was a time when uh, I was actually, I had more bills than I had money coming in. And uh, I went to a financial advisor and he's like, uh, dude, you, there's nothing you can do in your situation. He's like, you're gonna have to file for bankruptcy because you're going backwards in your financial state. <clears throat> and eventually you're gonna you're gonna lose everything. And uh yeah, that's what happened. I ended up having to file for bankruptcy, you know. Um <clears throat> because like you know, maybe a lot of you, you know, trolls and haters out there, you know, that live paycheck to paycheck, uh, you know, maybe you got you I, I Maybe you live paycheck to paycheck, you know. I was, like I said, I was like, I was like you guys at one time in my life. But not anymore, you know. Um, <clears throat> I learned from my mistakes, you know. Uh, one of the problems is, you know, if you're with somebody, uh, married to somebody, dating somebody, whatever, um, you have to be on the same page financially. If you're not, it's going to end in disaster, it's going to end up, you're going to end up bankrupt, which is what happened to me, you know. <clears throat> um, yeah. I, uh, you know, my, my, in my last relationship, you know, um, I barely keep, I barely uh, kept our head above water um, from a financial standpoint, you know, uh, living paycheck to paycheck, you know? And eventually, um, my ex was like, you know, I'm gonna take over the finances because, you know, you're not getting us anywhere. And uh, I got tired of hearing her bitching about it. And I was like, okay, okay. You wanna take over? You think you can do better uh, at handling our finances? Okay, here you go, here's the checkbook, have at it. It's all yours. <clears throat> well, a few months after that, um, I got a letter from our finance uh, company, mortgage company, stating that if you don't pay X amount of dollars by such and such date, um, we're going to auction off your house on the Cass County Courthouse steps. <laughs> yeah. Well, guess what? We end up moving because we didn't have the extra money. And, uh, yeah, had to file for bankruptcy. You know, like I said, if you're not, if uh, the person that you're with is not on the same page as you, you talk about treading in deep water. Uh, yeah, that's treading in deep water. <clears throat> and uh, as soon as we got divorced, Guess what? I gained control of my finances, and guess what? I came out of this financial slump that I was in. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I get it. I understand. I see where you guys are coming from. You know, but, you know, realize that you're not me. You don't know me. You don't know her. You only know the, the, the horrible stories that you read about or, or watch on the internet. And um, I hope you guys continue to uh, watch my channel. You know, for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, you know, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna try to put out more videos than what I have. And, uh, I want you guys to tune in and I don't want you to see where my life goes and where Irene's life is going to go from this day forward. And, uh, we're and Irene and I, we're going to prove to all you haters out there and all you trolls that our relationship isn't like those other relationships. Mark my words, mark my words. Um, if you're not sure, uh, if you haven't seen all my videos and don't know what my videos are about, um, 
It's a video diary of my life. As I go from working here in the, in the United States to eventually retiring over in the Philippines. And uh, like I said, I hope you guys continue to watch. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, share my videos, comment on my videos. I would love to read the comments. You know, I get humor out of reading a lot of your comments. <laughs> so keep the comments coming. Uh, like my video if you like it. If you don't like it, then give it a thumbs down. I don't care. That's <laughs> not gonna hurt my feelings. And uh, I hope that you guys continue to join me on my road to the Philippines. Have a blessed day.